in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sabila Vargas. And I'm Juan Fernandez. Ken Shocknick has the morning off. Welcome to CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. All right, Kirk, thank you. A local middle school is shaken up this morning after a longtime teacher and father of two is arrested on multiple counts of child molestation. CBS 2's Christine Lazar is live now in Canoga Park with reaction from shocked parents and neighbors. Christine. Juan, the All right, Christine, thank you. Authorities say they've foiled a terrorist plot out of Texas. 20-year-old Khalid Aldazari from Saudi Arabia had been studying chemical engineering in Lubbock County. The FBI says he was planning to do great harm with the chemicals he was acquiring. They say Aldazari bought explosive chemicals over the Internet as part of a plan to hide bomb materials inside dolls and baby carriages. The possible targets, according to the FBI, included dams, nuclear power plants, and the home of former President George W. Bush. He was arrested yesterday. Toyota just announced this morning that it has plans to recall more than 2 million vehicles in the U.S. Toyota Bill Josh, thanks. A surprising Hollywood twist to a Burbank robbery case this morning after the elderly victim turned out to be a retired animation artist. Well, he took his skills and drew a sketch of the robbers for police. Take a look. The 84-year-old retired animator says this woman and this man forced themselves into his home on Friday and took valuables. The victim wasn't hurt. The woman is 5'1 with dirty blonde hair. She has blue eyes and wore a white v-neck t-shirt. The man is six foot tall, has black hair and wore a black and white striped sweatshirt. They were seen driving a newer white sporty looking two door hatchback with chrome roof rack. If you recognize them, Burbank police would like to hear from you. LA police are praising a Soldiers and militiamen loyal to Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi are striking back against the opposition, while governments from around the world are stepping up their efforts to get their citizens out of the country. The capital city of Tripoli is all but locked down as Gaddafi fights to hold on to power. He called into a state television broadcast this morning, claiming that Osama bin Laden is behind the protests. Thousands have managed to flee the violence. Some left on larger ships, while others managed to get past the chaos at Libya's airports. But hundreds of Americans hoping to escape had put those plans on hold. High winds and rough seas are keeping a ferry chartered by the U.S. government in a Libyan port. Days of violence have left at least 300 people dead in Libya, but some report the death toll as high as 1,000. A British judge Saturday, if you had out, have to head out of town, head out early because the grapevine's going to be a problem, 14's going to be a problem, the 15. Chains, you think, will be required as well at that Not point? Not in Santa Clarita, but yeah, certainly up in the higher elevations. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, but it's snowing in some areas and raining in the others? Yeah. yeah so if it's not snowing, it's raining. All right. What All a right. weekend. Yeah. All right, Josh, thank All you. Right. The stalemate at the Wisconsin Capitol over the controversial budget bill is about to turn in the governor's favor. After more than two days of debate, the state assembly is nearing a vote on legislation that will take away collective bargaining rights for most public workers. Democrats in the Republican-controlled chamber don't have the votes to stop the bill. Once the bill passes the state assembly, it needs the approval of the Senate. But over a dozen Democrats have fled the state to avoid a vote. Protesters say regardless of whether the bill passes, the fight won't end at the Wisconsin Capitol. Well, you might be Time now to check out what's coming up on KCAL 9 News at noon. Sandra Mitchell live now in the newsroom with a look to the top of the hour. Hey, Sandra. Good morning, Juan. Yeah, coming up in just a few minutes. Uh, no more cutting tomorrow. It's all coming up. KCAL 9 News. We'll see you at noon. Juan and Sabila. Sounds like fun. All right. <laughs> a Southland couple is sure to be celebrating this morning. Next on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m., we're going to tell you more about the pair who turned oh, five boy. bucks into millions. But for in high definition, this is CBS 2 News at 4.30 a.m. He rants they shut down his show. More angry words from this morning from Charlie Sheen. And a candlelight vigil for a fallen firefighter as funeral services are set for this morning in downtown L.A. And hoping strength in numbers could help bring an end to the unrest, President Obama speaks with key allies to coordinate a response to the violence in Libya. Welcome to CBS 2 News at 4.30 a.m. It is Friday, February 25th. We've made it. I'm Sibila Vargas. Indeed we did. And I'm Juan Fernandez. In today for Ken Shocknick. let's get started with your morning weather. Here's CBS 2's Chief Meteorologist Josh Rubenstein. TGIF, Josh. Oh, my goodness. We are limping to the finish line here. It is Friday. Uh, hope you made it. Serene Branson, CBS 2 News. Funeral services take place this morning for a veteran firefighter killed battling a blaze in the Hollywood Hills last week. His friends and family paid tribute at a vigil in Studio City last night. CBS 2's Melissa McCarty has a look at the emotional tribute. And punish the regime. 
In Washington, Michael Hertzenberg, CBS 2 News. Time now is 4.38 and coming up on CBS 2 News at 4.30 a.m., the mayor wants to wall off his home. Why neighbors are fighting the new proposal. Plus a slice of heaven for your furry friend. We'll take you inside the new five-star pet resort. <laughs> At 440 now, your money watch. Stocks ended mixed yesterday as concerns over the price of oil and the turmoil in Libya trumped more than better than expected corporate earnings. The Dow fell 37 points, the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 ended mixed. Coming up this morning, we're going to get a revised look at the fourth quarter numbers. We're going to take you live to Wall Street during CBS 2 News at 6 a.m. Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villarreal. We are definitely going to hear more about that one, oh, huh? Yeah. Wow. All right, time now is 4.43. Coming up on CBS 2 News at 4.30 a.m., fire at a star's home during his big movie premiere. Mm. And a new five-star resort for Fido. Your pet will lavish in luxury. Who took you little doggy? Okay, we're talking about uh, stormy weather as we make our way through the evening tonight and into tomorrow. Also, historically low snow levels. We'll talk about it in just a couple minutes. A hotel is going to the dogs in Westlake Village, and everybody is thrilled about it. Especially those with four yeah. paws. It's a five-star facility. CBS 2's Sandra Mitchell takes us on a tour. A little bit warmer next week. Yeah, but that looked menacing. Yeah. <laughs> it really did. And chilly this morning, mm -hmm. too. Wow. All right, time now is 4.50, and coming up on CBS 2 News at 4.30, is Etta James in serious danger inside a Riverside home? Hear why a local judge has ordered an immediate medical evaluation. Plus, not the most observant crooks, so what they didn't notice at a local store, they got a couple of burglars busted. So much for the beers and the snacks. Mm -hmm. I don't like to use the word <laughs> idiot loosely, but, but in this case, it might be a little apropos. Yeah, <laughs> All right, now here's a look at what's coming up on CBS 2 News at 5 a.m. I'm Kirk Hawkins, live in downtown LA, where hundreds will remember the life of a fallen veteran firefighter. And I'm Christine Lazar, live in Burbank. Production on the hit show Two and a Half Men has been stopped after Charlie Sheen made several insults on a radio rant. Also coming up new on CBS 2 News at 5 a.m., planning to cross the border into Mexico. We'll tell you about plans to make your return trip a lot faster. And no bunny slopes for her. A 90-year-old ski instructor proves you're never too old to learn or to teach. There That's you go, good. Josh. I, you know, I've got, I'm going skiing next week for the first time in, in, in a decade. That's so your inspiration. That's my inspiration. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about rain in Southern California and low snow levels. I'll have details on our next big storm coming up in just a little bit. And in the traffic department, we are talking about a sig alert on the westbound 60, plus a funeral procession for a fallen firefighter will cause street closures. All the details straight ahead. And next, an Oscar favorite and gay porn? The unusual connection between the King's speech and an adult movie. Do you know any jokes? Next on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. With much dignity and respect, fallen firefighter Glenn Allen is remembered at a service at Our Lady of the Angels Cathedral. Then Charlie Sheen's erratic action pulls the plug on the top comedy show on television. CBS says it's stopping production of Two and a Half Men. And then a little later at 11, do you want to lose weight? Why not turn down the heat at your home? We'll have a surprising new medical study. Plus late breaking news next at 11 a.m. Well, our other big story this morning, we could see snow in Southern California and not just in the mountains. CBS 2's chief meteorologist Josh Rubenstein is here now with your first weather. Hey, Josh. Good morning to you, Juan. Yeah, we are expecting. All right, we'll see what happens. Thanks, Christine. Long Beach police have arrested three suspects in a robbery of a five-year-old girl. 19-year-old Daniel Bard was arrested for strong-armed robbery. The young girl and her mother were walking in the 1100 block of East 10th Street when one suspect snatched a gold chain from the girl's throat and ran. The victim's uncle chased him down and was able to recover the necklace before he got away. Well, 19-year-old Kirk Lewis was also arrested for strong-armed robbery. A 17-year-old girl has also been charged in this case. Investigators say as many as three suspects may have been involved in the other chain snatching or street robberies. If you have any information, you are urged to contact Long Beach Police. A ferry carrying Americans was able to leave Libya today as the country descends into chaos. Coming up on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m., the biggest protest so far is expected in the capital of Tripoli. We have the latest just ahead. Then in Health Watch, what's the connection between your weight and the temperature in your room? That story is still ahead. Then out of disaster in New Zealand, hope and love. A woman is married just days after being buried in the rubble. Mm. 
And here are the top stories right now on CBSLA.com. CBSLA.com is always on. We'll be right back. So good news, bad news. The weekend mm -hmm. is here, but... Oh, yeah. yeah. The weather's not going to be that good. If you just look behind us, it's yeah, already it looks starting pretty, to look ugly. <laughs> it's pretty but, crummy out there, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, you know what? It's, it's cold out there. We're already starting to see a little bit of drizzle here and there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a, a cold start to your weekend. It's not even going to warm up all that much when things dry out on Sunday. But